sake, we created uh, a pickup truck version of the Tesla Semi. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> Back in 2017, Tesla came up with a bold idea to revolutionize heavy transport by introducing the Tesla Semi. The truck could potentially bring in $133 million in Tesla revenue, which is making thousands of people anxious as they await its appearance. But as Tesla hopes to introduce the Tesla Semi by the end of the year, they may only exacerbate their already supply-constrained production numbers that they can't even deliver. Moreover, now they are having a serious problem with the production of the 4680 battery. So what exactly are the challenges that Tesla is facing? And how many Tesla semis is Tesla likely to deliver by the end of the year? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing that bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. So, uh, 4680, um, but it's probably uh, end of this year before we get confidently to a high production rate. Tesla has long faced an overarching problem of too much demand and too little supply. Right now, as the 4680 self-production struggles to keep up with the already strong demand, Tesla Semi may stop deliveries because of battery production restrictions. Breaking it down by the numbers gives a better picture of the battery cell issue the Tesla Semi could face. Tesla's 4680 cells have each an energy capacity of 98 watt-hours. For context, 828 cells are needed to make a single Tesla Model Y with an 81.1 kilowatt per hour battery. With this capacity per cell spec and the specs that have been published by Tesla about the Tesla Semi, we can estimate the capacity of the truck's battery, which is likely enormous. The Tesla website states that the Tesla Semi, while fully loaded, will have a max range of 500 miles and use under 2 kilowatt hours per mile. Assuming a worst case scenario where the truck uses exactly 2 kilowatt hours per mile for 500 miles, the Tesla Semi would have a battery capacity of 1000 kilowatt hours. And even if the Tesla Semi could achieve 1 kilowatt hour per mile, the battery would be 500 kilowatt hours. At 1000 kilowatt hours or 1 million watt hours, this would require 10,204 Tesla 4680 cells or 5,102 cells for the 500 kilowatt hour battery. This enormous number of cells could be used on 12 Tesla Model Y batteries. It is known that the total order volume of the Tesla Semi is currently up to 780, maybe even a thousand orders, which brings Tesla about $140 million. To produce the 780 Tesla Semis, approximately 7,959,120 battery cells will be required. So, with such a huge number of batteries, how many Tesla Semis will Tesla meet by the end of this year? Tesla aims to start ramping up production of the 4680 cells at Giga Texas by the end of the third quarter of 2022. 4680's production at Giga Texas is to top 1,000 packs per week by year's end. With such capacity, this factory will reach nearly 11 million 4680 cells by the end of the year. However, the Tesla Semi is not Tesla's only product that is dependent on the 4680 battery. Cybertruck and the Model Y also use 4680 cells. Assuming that we divide equally, Elon Musk will use 3.6 million cells for the Tesla Semi. So minus the number of cells needed to deliver 780 orders, Tesla will be short of 4.4 million 46 80 cells for this truck, which is equivalent to about 431 Tesla semis. Therefore, it is estimated that in December of 2022, Tesla can only produce and deliver 349 Tesla semis. In December of 2017, PepsiCo pre-ordered 100 trucks. It was the largest order to date. It beat Anheuser-Busch, the company behind the Budweiser beer brand, which ordered 40 trucks. Walmart and Pride Group Enterprises subsequently beat PepsiCo's order size, ordering 130 and 150 trucks respectively last year. The latter company left the option open to increase the order to 500 trucks. In total, Walmart's and Pride Group's orders could represent a potential revenue of between 42 to 126 million US dollars depending on vehicle configuration and final order size. Tesla has bagged another large order for its Class 8 semi-trucks placed by a big US logistics firm named Carrot Packaging in December of 2021 
for about 10 Tesla semis. With such a volume of orders, production progress can continue to be delayed until 2025. Tesla is already halfway. They have to ramp up production of Giga Texas to 5,000 packs per week to reach the goal of delivering enough Tesla semis. However, the fact that they're launching semi now is a big vote of confidence in their growing battery supply. So then, what is their delivery plan going to look like? Starting uh, in the next couple months, we'll begin the, uh, the installation, so aiming to be in volume production middle of next year. Tesla Incorporated will deliver its first semi trucks to PepsiCo Incorporated, five years after Elon Musk unveiled prototypes and accepted deposits for the electric big rigs. The car maker will hand over semis to PepsiCo on December 1st, Musk tweeted. In a follow up tweet, Musk said the semi would have 500 miles of range and would be super fun to drive. The food and beverage giant has said it reserved 100 of the trucks and expects to deploy an initial 15 by the end of the year. This means Tesla will receive 18 million US dollars from this company. PepsiCo confirmed in its own tweet that it'll take delivery of its first Tesla trucks in early December to serve a Frito-Lay plant in Modesto, California, and a beverage plant in Sacramento. While would-be customers including Walmart Incorporated and Anheuser-Busch in Bev SA put down deposits, the automaker ended up prioritizing output of Model 3 sedans and Model Y sport utility vehicles for consumers while contending with battery cell and semiconductor supply issues. In January, Musk told analysts Tesla wouldn't roll out any new models this year because of parts constraints. He changed his tune three days after the US Senate passed the Inflation Reduction Act. With the Tesla Semi expected to cost around $180,000, that tax incentive will be a huge factor in making the truck cheaper for commercial operators. The industry will soon be awash with electric semi-truck competitors, known as Class 8 trucks, with vehicles coming from Nikola, Daimler, and Volvo, among others. Will Tesla cap Tesla Semi production to protect their consumer offerings? What about their 4680 cells? Will their consumer vehicles shift away from them? Or will they vastly expand battery cell production to keep up with the demand for all of its products? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's about it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.